Chris here is another episode of Homer's Loving, Learning, Life, Lessons, Living. It's become apparent to me as I've been driving today, when a fella's driving by himself, he got lots of time to think. And in some of that thinking, he's got some interaction with other folks. And one of my interactions today reminded me I don't know, maybe it taught me a lesson. I said that some of this experience me about going through changes and learn to do that gracefully. Well, today I had an opportunity where there was a little bit of change in my life that I wasn't expecting. And I got to reflect back on a couple of my houses that overall Dave taught me about. Primarily, if they're emotional, mental and spiritual dream. One of the things I realized today is when a change occurs, we don't have to get too jacked out of shape. I don't know if this came from my spiritual healing, my mental healing, my emotional healing, or my project management that I've been doing all these years. But change inevitably happens and we get to roll with it as it goes. Sometimes we get all fussy and want to fight about it. Often that don't suit us very well. So I guess when Homer was reflecting on as he's driving across northern Indiana into Michigan to head to the homestead and the sun setting on him, he's reflecting on how wonderful it is to learn that we don't got to get antsy when something changes. We just kind of got to roll with it and see what comes next. The universe or God gives us many opportunities to do that. And uh, other people give us some opportunities too. Uh, you know, when I was project managing, my job was to bring the right resources about to do a task particular schedule didn't often go the way we planned and that road tiller might not show up in the right place or a tractor or a computer or some programmer or the farmer to drive the tractor all those things we could have got all worried about fussing about instead we just need to look as project managers and I think participants in life and how to gracefully go through to whatever comes next in this here universe. So that's what I've been reflecting on. I'm glad I had this opportunity heading up to the property to share with you a few times. And over the coming months, you'll probably learn some stuff about homesteading in between instead of just on my silly pontificate. Anyway, thought you might like an update on the property.